Hello everybody, I'm Liz from Creations by Liz. Today we're going to be doing a card. Um, it's a Halloween thank you card for uh, both my, I call her my mother-in-law, she's my boyfriend's mother. Um, she sent me a birthday box, so I had to of course send a thank you card. But I wanted to do it in Halloween style and Halloween cards because I'm a huge fan of Halloween and um, I also made one for my niece because she made me a fabulous card that I love and she did it all by herself. She is um, six years old, about to be seven, and she took some Sharpies which I love because I do everything in Sharpies. I am a Sharpie artist. Um, to me, black a black and white Sharpie or a black Sharpie on white paper is one of the most amazing things ever. And so she made me a card to tell me happy birthday. She folded it all by herself and I can't be more elated. Like you don't even know. Like to me this is the best birthday present anybody could give me. It's just something handmade and simple. Um, especially my niece. I'm, a, I'm biased on her. But today we're, I'm going to make a card. I already made this one and filled it out for her telling her thank you and happy Halloween. Um, now for my card today, I've already done the back of it for today's because I tried, this was a scrap piece of orange and I tried like different things to see what I liked. And when I found this and I just had like a small piece of the orange left, I just put them back together. I just duplicated it and put it together real quick. Um, you keep seeing me shadow everything because my camera keeps shutting off. Um, it's just a regular Canon camera, so it takes a couple minutes or a couple tries before it'll actually stay on, which is very annoying. <laughs> but it's just a can, uh, one of the Canon Rebels. It's not um, like a camcorder, so I'm just using the video function, which apparently does not like me. So I'm just gonna start by assembling all this and try to do this quickly before it shuts off on me. Um, I'm just eyeballing this. Um, the only measurement I actually really had and made was this background piece. Um, I ran out of this purple that I really liked. Uh, it's I'm not sure where I got that purple from. Um, probably just from my local uh, my local like printing store that's usually where I get my craft or my cardstock because I kind of do a lot of general just a basic cardstock background and then I create my own backgrounds um, specifically a lot with like Sharpies and uh, so like a white cardstock with some Sharpies and stamps and things like that um, I'm just cutting it in half. To me, this washi tape was just a little too wide for this, for the way I wanted to do this card um, and keep it simple. But the base of my card, sorry, I get a little rambly. But the base of my card is, oh shoot, what was it? Eight and a half by four and scored at four and a quarter. Um, and I'm just using Stamping Up's um, Blackberry Bliss. I really like this color. Oh. It it goes really well, it, like with a white shirt or a white gel pen, and I think it pops. Like I love navy with a white gel pen also. So I wanted to really try this Blackberry Bliss, and I'm very pleased with it. And so I'm just I just took my washi tape and cut it down. This is um. Just some washi tape I found in the dollar bin at uh, Joanne Fabrics. Uh, Studio G is what it said on it. I'm not sure if that's their name brand. I think it is because I see a lot of that on them. But I tried it here and there. I found that no matter if you buy what washi tape you buy, it all kind of works the same in my book. I've not found one that I've liked over the other. 
so I'm just assembling my little pumpkin and I didn't like in some of my other videos um, I did a treat bag and I didn't actually have a hole or yeah a hole punch that was the right size for the pumpkins that I wanted to do so I just took a pencil and specifically I think these ones are this nope these are a little smaller I'm not sure what I used for it but I used just something circular and then traced it on the back what I wanted to be the back anyways and I put it on and then I cut it out with just my scissors so there we have the front already done just taking a peek and now the inside I didn't know really how I wanted to do it so I just kind of put washi tape on the side and did a little dash lines um, I actually have an addiction to the dash lines from a lady on YouTube uh, for the light um, for life for me I want to say it's like pa prairie and paper paper and prairie Amy R she does them and I always love them and I also see um, Christina Warner she uses little dash lines here and there um, I always mix them two up though so it's one or the other that definitely does it <laughs> and I always love that so I started doing it and I thought the dash lines looked really good because it kind of overlaps right where um, right where the washi tape overlaps on the orange paper um, and you just saw me I just made like a little fingernail line right where it was um, so and now I watch a lot of YouTube I don't know about you guys but and I have no problem telling you where I got something from because there are no real original white deals anymore <laughs> so I want to share everything that I know and share where I go that's a little crooked um, I usually don't care about crooked but for such an important thank you oh no I messed it up completely Let's see so we'll fake it a little But, you know, for my mother-in-law and my niece, I think I can... It'll be fine. Neither will care. They will love it. So there's the inside. And now the back, simply. Um, this isn't a necessity. I don't know. I have this thing. I've always done this. Front, middle, back. To me, it just completes everything to kind of... Um, bring it all together and there we have it just a cute little gonna say thank you and happy Halloween to my family in Florida and thank you for my beautiful card and my amazing birthday box which oh my gosh my mother-in-law is one of the most amazing people in the world uh, right next to my mom who obviously hands down one of the number one people in my life so <laughs> me getting sappy I want to say thank you for watching my video if you like it please thumbs up it and again I am Liz from Creations by Liz and please visit my blog at www.creationsbyliz.blogspot.com thank you